Today we're going to focus on how to fill the Transpring Model A2 cartridge. Uh, it's very important to learn how to properly fill these cartridges in order to prevent leaks and or flooding. So the Transpring Model A2 cartridge is a cartridge that has a plastic body construction with a black tip uh, plastic that comes standard. It's made of three pieces. The cartridge itself, this black mouthpiece, and a small silicone rubber plug. Now these three pieces when put together constitute the entire cartridge and to begin filling is you'll want to disassemble this cartridge into these three components and then take the provided blunt tip syringe that was included with your package. Uh, if you want to use another syringe I advise that you use a blunt tip needle so that you can poke with it and it's still safe to use. It's, uh, it doesn't have any sharp ends on it and 15 gauge being the largest size needle that you should use. Uh, needles, these blunt tip needles are available in a variety of gauge sizes um, all the way down to 13 or 12 gauge. I really suggest that 15 gauge is the lowest that you go. The lower the gauge size, the bigger the needle. Um, and what is the important part is that as you're filling this with material or liquid, you want to make sure that the needle is small enough to allow air to escape from the cartridge as you're filling it with your material. So to begin filling, all that you'll need to do is take your blunt tip syringe, insert it into the fill hole, and try to hold it to the side of the fill hole. What this does is allow air to escape from the cartridge as you're filling it with material. Go ahead and inject your material and this cartridge holds about one ml. So now you want to fill it right up to this line right here where the mouthpiece would meet the plastic, which leaves about an eighth of an inch of uh, space at the top. Within 30 seconds, this is very important, within 30 seconds of filling, you want to cap it with this small rubber cap. Then once you are done you want to place the black plastic mouthpiece and snap it in place over the top and you are essentially done filling this cartridge. The only extra step is if you happen to have to do a hot fill, meaning that you are heating this syringe of material up before you inject it into the cartridge, you must perform an additional step. And that is to immediately after capping and filling this, flip it upside down and let it sit in this position upside down for the next two to three hours or until the oil completely cools down. The reason for this is that when you fill, you're going to inevitably trap a small air bubble in the cartridge. By flipping this cartridge upside down, what you allow the air bubble to do is go up to what would be the bottom of the cartridge and this part of the cartridge actually vents to the outside atmosphere. That small air bubble, when you have it filled with hot oil, is going to expand. And if it does not have any place to vent and equalize with the outside air pressure, then it's going to start pushing oil into your heating chamber. That is going to cause either a premature flood or a leak situation, uh, which is obviously something that you don't want to have happen. So if you are doing a hot fill, remember to flip your cartridge upside down for at least two to three hours after you perform your fill. Otherwise, if you're doing an ambient air temperature fill, meaning that you're, the heat of, or, or the temperature of the material that you're injecting is the exact same temperature as the outside atmosphere, then you can just keep it in its right side up position and use it immediately. And that's it.